Good morning. How are you doing this morning? This is Keith Neal, your creativity coach for Morning Cup of Keith. And today I want to wrap up the series that I'm doing on Doomsday Mindset. And today we're going to be dropping the doom. So um, we all struggle with worry. And uh, if we continue in that worry, we could tend to dwell into a Doomsday Mindset. And I know there's a lot going on in this world. Um, there's so much that could just numb our minds. <clears throat> you know, um, numbing actually would be a good thing um, because we wouldn't then be so, you know, um, dwelling on torment. But numbing is not a good thing either. Uh, I was just talking to uh, one of the nurses at uh, one of the appointments I was at today, and she just talked about how she just avoids the news. At, you just can't handle it anymore uh, because it's it's what media does is they deal out doom. They deal out fear because it gets ratings. It gets people to come back. And um, that's a whole different topic for another time. But today I want to just talk about how we can drop that doom state mindset. Just drop it. And um, we talked about awakening your awareness to the fear and tuning into it and exploring it. Why are we fearing this? What is it? Um, I talked about how, um, you know, things of worries of the nuclear war are common. You know, it's a common thing because there's a lot of that created. A lot of those weapons are out there. But then we have to dive into that thought of is any one of these leaders wanting to be responsible for destroying the entire planet? And the answer to that could be very well could be no. <clears throat> they wouldn't want to do that. You know, is that they once you do drop at least one, even just one of them would be enough to, you know, end civilization and life. And so, um, we, we can look into that. We can um, be aware of what that is and look at truths in that way. Challenge your thinking. Ask yourself, uh, what are the chances of this really happening? And so just kind of talking about that whole nuclear thing, it's very unlikely that even though we have that and it's more of a measure of, of you know, who's got the bigger stick, <laughs> you know, and just... You know, other other things are, um, it's used to manipulate for other things. The likely chances of that happening are very, very little. Um, and we want to go ahead and then focus on positive sides. What happens was when there might be other people out there that are suffering uh, from this worry and you can give them some insights they may not have had before. I'm going to take a quick sip here. Mm. So things to consider is when it comes to that mindset, dropping that, dropping that completely, getting into a focus of positivity and really um, being, you can still be, you can still be, you know, very hopeful, very positive, very joyful, and still have a realistic expectation in what's going on and what, you know, could be bad. You know, we're, we're watching the market drop. We're watching um, <clears throat> food prices and everything go up. And it's just, it's getting to be really tough. However, we if we look into history, because if we don't learn from history, it will teach us nothing. And we look into history and we see what's happened in the past. Did that stay forever? And the answer is no, it didn't. And there was opportunities, situations of prosperity boosts, you know, where these things came up at a time. And um, so the big thing to do is not let this doomsday mindset materialize you let it keep moving forward keep doing what you're doing do what you love to do and enjoy um your passion for doing things if you're serving others this is a great time to serve others 
and to really encourage them, you know, give give them a positive outlook, um, you know, be there for them, listen to them. Sometimes the best way is just to let somebody talk and just listen to them, let them vent out. And then in return, you'll be, you, you'll be able to hear what they're, what they're challenged with. And you might be able to help. You might be able to give them some guidance. So I hope that helps. And thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this, um, this, uh, theme or this series of doomsday mindset and um it's just it's easy to fall into and so we want to stay away from that um i want to work towards not being in that um uh, going forward all right and i do this to myself all the time <laughs> please subscribe and i gotta say this at the beginning but please subscribe like um share hit the notification bell. I would just love to have more people see this. And I would love to have any, any of you reach out to me and say, hey, you know, I have some questions. Or, hey, I would love to hear some topics that are pertaining to this. And, um, you know, just focus on, on coaching. You know, because I'm a coach. Love doing it. Love helping you all out. Um, and it can have very multiple facets i think what i do that's what i'm going to do is uh coming up here i'll do a video to just talk a, a lot more about what create uh creative creativity coaching really is all right take care see you on the next video